Jupyter Tech Brothers, in this video we're going to learn how to change database collision from case insensitive to case sensitive. And in this demo we'll be doing it using SQL Server Management Studio Graphic User Interface. And again, we'll be doing the same thing, changing database collision from case insensitive to case sensitive using T-SQL script. So here is uh, my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm connected uh, with my SQL Server instance. My SQL Server instance name is SQL Test. And here's my database. And in this database, if you wanted to look at the uh, collision, that what is the collision of the database, you need to right click on the database, go to the properties, click on options, and you will see right here the collision of the database. So uh, how to read the collision? First is this like SQL Latin general CP1. But for the case sensitivity, this is very important where it says CI right here. That means case insensitive right here if you wanted to convert this to case sensitive keep in mind that if you convert any database to case sensitive everything needs to spell with exact letter whether it's a lower or upper case if you change one letter which we will see in a, a little bit then it's not going to find that object so be careful changing your database into case sensitive any object in the database uh, that needs to be spelled or uh, type the same with upper or lower case. So let's go ahead right now is case insensitive. So we're going to go ahead and make it case sensitive, which is right next to it. If you click it right here, it says CS, that means case sensitive. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, um, select this collation. So up here, all you need to do, it takes uh, effect right away. All you need to do is change it to case sensitive and click OK. Now this database is case sensitive. Let's go ahead, right now it doesn't have any table. Let's go ahead and create a table. Just a demo table. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this table and I am going to name this table customer info. So keep in mind that uh, I wrote the name customer, C is capital and U and all that and info is basically the capitalized. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK and refresh your tables. As you can see that uh, we have a DBO customer info. So let's go ahead and query this table. If I just drag and drop this table right here, it gives me right here the the columns that we don't have any data um, we don't care for this demo but we just wanted to know the case sensitive and case insensitive so let's go ahead and change this info right here into lowercase same spelling and click execute as you can see right here it says that it cannot find that particular object because the database is case sensitive and um, it's not finding this so we're gonna go ahead and go back to info and make this little change C capital C to lower C so let's see that if um, it cannot find that object and now I'm going to do it go back C and it finds that uh, object so the point is that if you make your database to case sensitive then it's going to basically treat everything every letter needs to be uh, either is whatever the lowercase or uh, uppercase it needs to be exactly the same in order for it to work so be careful uh, changing the collision to case sensitive so let's go ahead and change it back to case insensitive we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process right click go to the options go right here and click on right here case sensitive right now we're gonna go ahead and make it case insensitive right here same collision but it's case insensitive that's the only difference between these two collision so let's click OK and now we have this table let's go ahead and query this table and we will drag and drop right here the table it's good we'll be doing the same thing but up here we will just use all lowercase 
let's see we'll get the results from both as you can see that it didn't care whether uh, the case cases were upper or lower it went ahead and gave us the information so basically this is how you um, change your database collision from case insensitive to case sensitive let's go ahead and use the same thing using t sql script do the same thing and all you need to do is alter database database name col uh, the collision right here and right here is this is what i was talking about cs case sensitive so we're going to go ahead and command complete it successfully and we're going to just quickly select data from this table and we're going to make this info and it can't find the object change it back to info and it will give us the results so basically this is how you change your database collision from case insensitive to case sensitive again i would uh, warn you that you need to be careful if you wanted to do any object that was already created any application that's attached and they didn't care about your uh, case sensitivity of the database if you change your case uh, your database from insensitive to sensitive it's going to create a whole lot of trouble but if it's intentional this video should help you a lot